Hello, my name is Andrew WK, and I'm here in the Randolph Hotel in Oxford, about to go speak at the Oxford Union about the philosophy of partying. Cheers. No one's more surprised or uh, baffled than I am that this adventure has led to these sorts of opportunities, especially someone who has not gone to university or college or any higher education. It's intimidating, it's uh, nerve-wracking, but only in a good way, and it's humbling. Um, it's a chance to impart whatever I have to offer, but also to, to learn, hopefully. I mean, that's what's best to me. My favorite part about speaking engagement like this is having questions and answers where I get to ask as much as I'm telling and also get to have people ask me what they want in a way that brings us to some sense of common, common ground. And, and my dad's a, a professor at the University of Michigan and I've often asked him about should I go, you know, like, should I still try to go to school someday? And he said that, uh, he said, believe me, I teach college and it's not that big of a deal. But to me, it still really is. Party is a mysterious, out of reach, um, legendary, mystical quality to the whole foundations of higher learning and getting to occasionally peek in, especially under this premise of partying, is, is very unusual and very exciting. So I'm, I'm greatly thrilled and feel very privileged that I get to, to be here at all, especially in this capacity. Oxford, the dream inspires, is uh, home to the finest minds, everyone knows that. And I consider Andrew to be one of the finest minds in rock and roll, one of the most positive people out there. Um, Oxford, you know, I think has a duty to provide a platform for the finest minds and the finest speakers. And, um, you know, when this, when this uh, lecture came about, uh, I did say, uh, you know, I think he's one of the greatest thinkers in rock and roll, and, and that's absolutely serious. I, I've no doubt he is. And, uh, to, to be involved in um, bringing this together was just such a great thrill and so, so glad it happened, really. So I think partying is, is, yeah, just being in a state of gratitude and doing something about it. Partying hard is when you do it with a lot of effort and intensity, you know. <laughs> when you don't have any sleep and yet you get up and keep working at something because you're excited about it. Uh, to follow truly what you feel you were put on earth to do, you know, is partying at its, at its best, I think. And if you feel bad, you know, that's all part of it. I mean, the, the hangover from partying, whether it's caused by substances or not, is all part of the, you know, the fantastic dynamics. Life isn't always supposed to feel good physically necessarily or emotionally, and it's that full range, that full spectrum that makes it so satisfying. You know, that's how we can tell we do feel good when we do because we don't feel like we did when we felt bad. If you always felt good, then probably wouldn't feel very much at all. <laughs> This adventure in partying has been uh, perpetual and gradual and uh, I'm still in the midst of it. And as far as the idea of partying, I just thought, well, if I'm going to do this, what's the most fun way to do it, the most fun mindset I could think of? And that word summed it up and also left plenty of space for any way you'd want to interpret that word uh, in any way that anyone else would want to interpret it. Party! People wanted to see more writing, so uh, Simon and Schuster had the idea for this book, which I don't know that I would have had the nerve to necessarily come up with on my own at this point. Um, I'm going to do the best I can with this, and it's been a really challenging and rewarding experience already. I thought it would be like making an album, where it's like, okay, well you have a song, and then you make ten more songs, and you put them all together, and it's an album. But it doesn't quite work like that. I mean, it can be. Uh, but the real great art is to be able to make the whole book like a song, you know what I mean? Like the best albums are kind of like one song. So I'm really uh, in, the, in the throes of it, in the ordeal. But usually if you can make it out of the other side of an ordeal, you're all that much better and hopefully the, the journey will have been worth it for the reader.
Well, the first thing I, I will insist on is that the Party Bible takes pride of place in uh, the Bodleian Library's collections because the Bodleian has a, uh, a duty of care to make sure every book is available. And, uh, and if I was a student, it would be certainly the first one I'd reach for. Party! But you can also take uh, some sort of comfort, not in a pacifying way, but in a truly meaningful and, and hopefully thrilling way that there's a party inside of you at all times. And your own imagination and your own explorations of yourself are probably as thrilling or even more so than anything that you could go seeking for. Um, not to say that one should just sit in a room by yourself forever, but as far out as you can go, you can go as far in. And I think a nice mix of both is the best kind of party. Maybe going back to earlier, I feel more and more aware that this is a team effort and that I'm not alone and I couldn't do it alone. Whereas before I took a lot of pride in that this is my thing and I built it. Even though it was this party where everyone's invited, it was still Andrew WK and it's, you know, I don't need anybody else. And there was a lot of anger and bad feelings bound up in that. And then when it was, it was proven to me time and time again that all the best things that ever happened involved people beyond myself, that that was the best change and the best part about doing this and the only way that I can keep doing it or even keep being a human. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. such a great evening and um, I think he changed people's perception of him that night you know I think um, he cemented his place as one of rock and roll's great thinkers definitely the Oxford Union and, and, and the city itself um, just felt a bit partier that for that one day in June 2014 <laughs> what a rush uh... So that was my lecture on the philosophy of partying here at Oxford. I am in a daze, in a good way. I uh, was very, very moved by the reception and the turnout and uh, just great questions. Uh, lots of partying.